Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. Or I'm my alter ego, Miss Vanity Scarlet. So I just finished reacting to um, the finale of season one of Guy Saw Pernicula, and you guys voted on the community tab of my channel, um, asking me to do that reaction in drag, which is why all of this is happening. But I figured since Vanna was already out, we might as well do some other reactions. This reaction was actually sent to me by one of my patrons, Miss Attire, um, my resident Aces expert. And she sent me a live performance of the Aces um, performing their song, Waiting For You. Now, I don't know the song, but I haven't heard them live yet. So this is very, very exciting because um, live is a whole nother, whole nother, whole nother experience that you get to hear from people's voices. So I'm excited to see this. So we're just going to dive on in and see. Once again, the aces. I thought I made it clear as crystal. Doesn't have to be this hard. Have to be this hard. But you ain't good at reading signals when they come straight from the heart. I like how she's just kind of like slinking into these vocals. You've been thinking, you've been thinking, I've been thinking, you've been thinking, babe. Just a little too much. I wish you knew what I want. I've been looking, I've been looking, I've been looking in the mirror. Making little touches. They're just so cool. Oh, I wish you knew what I want. We've been drinking, we've been drinking, we've been drinking, we've been drinking, baby. Just a little too much. And I hope you know.
Okay, I absolutely adored this song, this performance, everything about it. Um, Crystal, I believe, is the, the lead singer. Um, her voice is, like, I finally, like, I'm finally hearing and getting a real authentic sense of what her voice is. Because, like, everything I've heard thus far, they, you know, vocals been cool, songs been good, but I've just always been more about just the groove and the vibe of it, and it's just been like, yeah, it's just been this groove, and it's just catchy and whatnot. But I, I'm very much one of those kind of like ballad singers. I love that. Like, I love good upbeat bops and all that kind of stuff, but I love ballads because I feel like ballads really show showcase vocals for what they are. Like, they give you the vocals. They're not hiding behind any other kind of, like, anything else happening in the song. Um, so I love that this sort of a little bit more ballady song is what they chose to perform on um, the late night show. Um, and it just, it had, it still had this groove about it. And it was just this slinky kind of groove and she would just slink into the verses, into the phrases and just, mm, it was nice. And then I liked her, um, like she would do this, like have this little sort of vocal fry at the end of her phrases and the verses. But you ain't good at reading signals. That uh, at the end of the phrase, and she did that a lot of times stylistically at the end of a lot of um, her offsets um, during the verses, and I, I just I liked it. I liked it. Like it added to that sort of slinky nature that was happening in the song and with her vocals. And then she would just, then she would trans up into a, transition up into her head voice going into the choruses. And, ooh, ooh, how like it just gave you, it gave you an idea of range, vocal range that she has, and also just it made me appreciate like her head voice, beautiful, 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 soft, soft, beautiful head voice, um, and then you know her lows are nice too, and I liked. I like that everybody in the band was singing. Everybody gave you background vocals. It wasn't just one person. Everybody in this band is not only just playing guitars, playing drums, they're giving you vocals as well. And it was just it was just this groove and Crystal, she just had this, I don't know, this sort of just low-key rock star vibe where she was just they were all just in their groove. Like it wasn't even that they were on TV, they were just making music and all just groove into what was happening on stage and I loved it, love to see it, love the vocals on it and yeah, this is the first song that I've listened to them, from them, that I actually want to like learn for the sake of singing. Like all the other songs are, have been great and I added them to my work playlist, added them to like my workout playlist and they are good, they get me moving, they give me energy, they get me hype, but like this is one that I'm like, I would, you know, if there was a karaoke track for it, I would learn this and take this to karaoke with me. Because y'all know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a very avid karaoke singer. I love karaoke, and I'm always looking for new songs. Um, and yeah, this is one, the first one that I've heard that I'm like, you know what, I would, I want to sing this song. I would sing this song. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see if I can make that happen. But another, just another great recommendation from Attire. So thank you so much for the suggestion. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love ya. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. Love you guys.